For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath shown it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. If the words of the Most High is not transforming your life in a way of bringing you down to your knees to repentance, then the messages you submit to is not doing the will of the Most High in your life. The scripture said the words of the Most High is powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword. The scriptures went on to say the words of the Most High will pierce your soul and spirit. The word is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The words of the Most High will cut you. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The scriptures reveal the purpose of the words of the Most High. So many do not have the proper understanding of the intent of the words of the Most High. The beast system has indoctrinated the people of the Most High in religion to believe the words of the Most High serve one purpose, that is to make them feel good. If for any reason they feel the opposite emotions when they hear the word, they are to reject the message because such messages are hate speech and hate is not of the Most High. God is only love and God love all people. The beast system encouraged the people to only focus on the promises the Most High made to the righteous. The beast system tell the people to ignore the judgments the Most High reserved for the wicked. If we at times feel various emotions and there are many personality traits that make us who we are, what would make you believe the Most High is only love? Remember, we are made in His image and likeness. Many people fail to understand that the Most High is also wrath. The kingdom of darkness has blinded their mind that many people cannot comprehend the intent of the words of the Most High in His ways. Their visions of the Most High is distorted. Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of His fierce anger. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. If you're going to serve the Most High and build a personal relationship with the Most High, you must understand His whole essence. You can't only accept His promises and ignore His wrath. Now that the Most High is revealing who He is in the awakening with truth, some people are joyful while many are angry. The Most High said, if you're going to serve him, you must serve him in the spirit and in truth. So many in the beast system are struggling with the truth aspects on their journey. Could it be the reason so many are struggling with the truth is because the truth separates the righteous from the wicked? But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The scriptures did say, in the last days, the Most High will send the angels to separate the wheats from the tares. For many years, the Most High allowed the tares and the wheats to live together until the time of the harvest. Now that we are living in the last days, the tares are being separated from the wheats. The awakening is the prophesied time that is separating the tares from the wheats. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay. 
lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. The tares are struggling to understand what is happening, and the wheats are looking for ways to save the tares. Israelites and indigenous black people worldwide, let the will of the Most High be done. Stop trying to save people that are predestined for the lake of fire. The scripture said there are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. Everyone is not made for honor. The beast system made it appear as if everyone will inherit eternal life with the Most High, but that is not the case. Broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many are on that road. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Hath not the potter power over the clay, of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor, and another unto dishonor? The book of Revelations prophesied on the coming judgment on the wicked. There are countless other books in the Bible that talk about the wrath of the Most High. Many choose to ignore this and focus on the promises the Most High reserved for the righteous. When the truth is spoken, many cannot accept the truth because they have a distorted view of the affairs of the Most High. In the beast culture, if the messages make the people feel good, they will accept and comply with whatever the message is saying. For example, the beast culture and religion has made the indigenous black people accept a savior that is supposed to save the world simply because the message he is preaching cater to their emotions and give them hope. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. The savior the world accepted give the people a false sense of security because many indigenous people want to be saved and delivered from the mental and physical chains in their lives. They accept the doctrines the workers of iniquity taught them in religion. Many indigenous black people accept Christianity because this faith promised them a savior that will rescue them from all their troubles. Because this savior promised to save them, Majority do not investigate to get a complete understanding of what this Savior is offering. They simply accepted this Savior because they want to be free and the messages he preached made them feel good. The scripture said, the truth shall make you free. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The hour has come when the true worshipers must worship the Most High in the spirit and in truth. The scriptures did not say accepting a Savior will set you free, but the truth shall make you free. The Savior many people have accepted in religion is the God of this world, a foreign God that you and your ancestors have not known according to the scriptures. Remember, Satan is the God of this world. The savior that was sent to save the world is a counterfeit. He is not the Messiah sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The savior many people accepted because they liked the messages he preached is an idol impersonating the most high to deceive the masses. The scriptures boldly revealed to the people of the Most High that the Messiah that is sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel will come in the Father's name. Because many do not know the Father or his name, the world will reject him. The scripture said the Messiah that came in his own name, him the world will receive. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. The Savior that came in his own name, the world receive him and everyone worships him. You barely hear anyone worshiping the father because the one that came in his own name declare himself to be the most high in the flesh. The people who do not uphold the truth of the most high's words in their heart are deceived by the synagogue of Satan in the beast system. The savior that came in his own name does not acknowledge the most high. If this Savior honored the Most High, he would understand that the Most High does not share his glory with anyone. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. 
there are many heathens and indigenous people at this point in the message whose blood is boiling because the truth that is being revealed about their beloved savior does not make them feel good. The truth that is being said via the words of the Most High is cutting them, piercing their soul and spirit in a way they cannot comprehend. Just because what you have heard does not align with what you were taught in religion, in addition, it does not make you feel good, does not indicate what you have heard is false or hate speech. Just because the doctrines in religion makes you feel good, it does not conclude the doctrines are of the Most High and truthful. The same way the workers of iniquity question and slander the awakening, the indigenous black people must question the synagogue of Satan's doctrines in religion. Make them defend their doctrines if what they teach is the undisputed word of the Most High. Now then ever, the people of the Most High must renew their minds. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? The scripture said, The words of the Most High is sharper than a two-edged sword. A sword is used to fight in combat. The scripture said, The words of the Most High is sharper than a sword. Being cut by the words of the Most High is not abnormal. How else is the words of the Most High supposed to do its work? When the words of the Most High cleanse, many people reject the word via the truth because they don't comprehend the intent. The word of the Most High is supposed to transform your life. The awakening is a very good example on how the words of the Most High uplift, encourage, and discipline the people of the Most High. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. For many generations, the Israelites are held as slaves in captivity. Until this day, the chosen people are in captivity. Many do not have knowledge of their culture because the synagogue of Satan has stripped them of their heritage, land, and identity. The workers of iniquity gave the indigenous black people a false heritage that came from their wicked imaginations. For many years, the Israelites had no knowledge about who they were. The beast culture via the seed of the serpent's educational system hide the heritage of the indigenous black people. The scripture said many nations conspired against the people of the Most High to cut them off from being a people. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Also, the elders from the previous generations failed to pass on the Israelite heritage to their children. This contributed to the Israelites discontinuing from the heritage the Most High gave to them. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn for ever. In addition to not doing our part to preserve the heritage the Most High gave to his people, the enmity, the Most High placed between the woman's seed and the serpent seed, led the seed of the fallen to commit many heinous crimes against the indigenous black people. It is through the persecution and the crying out, the Most High sent a Messiah to help his people. The scriptures made it clear, the Most High is the Elohim to the Israelites. That is why the Israelites do not have a government system like the heathens. The beast system altered the purpose of the Messiah to trap many in religion. Instead of being a deliverer for the oppressed and enslaved Israelites, the Messiah became a savior to the world in the beast system. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The beast system defined Messiah as the promised deliverer of the Israelite nation. Another definition is a leader or a savior of a particular group or cause. The beast system revealed to us that a Messiah is a leader or a savior to a particular group. Do not let this go over your heads, Israelites. When you take the time to look with your spiritual eyes, you can begin to see what is hidden in plain sight. Religion goes on and on about a savior that is supposed to save the world. 
Yet the synagogue of Satan defined Messiah as a leader or a savior of a group and a promised deliverer of the Israelite people, which would be in line with the word of the Most High when the Messiah said to the heathen woman that he was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Israelite nation is a bloodline, a peculiar people. Currently, these people are being oppressed and enslaved in every nation they were scattered into. Preaching he is a savior to the world goes against what the words of the Most High said. With their own words, the Holy Spirit is exposing the truth. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. With the indigenous black people learning the truth about who they are and their legacy in the awakening is saving their lives. The emptiness many Israelites felt from the loss of identity was a heavy burden for many to carry. The truth in the awakening is helping the people of the Most High repent and return to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth, just as the Most High command of his people. Hearing the truth of the Most High's words is transforming many Israelites in the awakening. That is why the scripture said the truth would make you free. To an oppressed people who spent their entire existence being discriminated against and reproached with bywords while living among their enemies. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. The truth is setting the indigenous black people free, cleansing them as well as disciplining to elevate them from glory to glory. When you accept the Most High with all your heart and mind, you will experience all of Him, not just what the beast system want you to know. You will receive the promises as well as the correction needed to save your life. Many Israelites and indigenous people experience the wrath and the piercing of the Spirit when they hear the unadulterated truth of the words of the Most High. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The piercing of the spirit the scriptures spoke of bring forth repentance. For a long time, I could not understand why some heathens took offense to this channel and the messages, especially with the messages revealing truth to the people and setting many people free from the bondage in the beast system. The Most High revealed to me that to his people, the word of the Most High being revealed by the truth spreading in the awakening is good news to his people. The Israelites and the indigenous black people need to be delivered from the bondage in the beast system. The indigenous black people are subjugated all over the world. Many indigenous black people are held as slaves in several nations around the world until this very day. The truth is letting the indigenous black people know that the Most High will save his people from their oppression. The truth in the awakening is reminding the people of the Most High that he would never leave them nor forsake them. Be strong, and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. The truth the indigenous black people are hearing in the awakening brings joy to their hearts. However, to the wicked and to all that frown upon the awakening, the truth does not bring joy to their heart. The truth is bad news for them because the truth is revealing judgment. The truth is reminding them of their fate. That is why they cannot tolerate the truth. The truth is meant to set us free. For them, the truth is placing chains on them. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. The seed of the serpent and the heathens are listening to all the transgressions they have committed and the punishment that comes for their transgressions. Remember, they haven't been held accountable for their sins and the sins of their fathers. The synagogue of Satan that hide the crime of the heathens and the serpent seed can no longer cover up their wickedness. The awakening is exposing everything and revealing the intent of their hearts. The scripture said the word of the most high revealed the intent of your heart. The heathens and the seed of the fallen are listening to the diabolical things they have done and this trigger pain and rebellion. The kind of pain they are experiencing from hearing the truth does not bring repentance but violence. 
That is why they're doing everything in their power to sabotage the awakening. The truth hurt for them because the truth is doing, as the scripture said, separating the tares from the wheat. The tares can no longer mingle themselves with the wheats. The time has come for the Most High to separate the wicked from the righteous. The scripture said the Most High would gather the tares first to burn them. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. That is why the seed of the fallen and the wicked indigenous people cannot accept the truth because it is exposing the intent of their heart. For those who cannot tolerate hearing the truth, if they were serving the Most High, witnessing the indigenous black people repenting and being transformed by the word of the Most High should bring joy to everyone who profess to love the Elohim of Israel. They should rejoice for the sinners that are repenting. However, to the seed of the serpent and the wicked indigenous people, the awakening angers them. If they were truly serving the Most High, they would imitate what the angels of the Most High does when one sinner repents. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. To the remnant, the truth being spoken in the awakening, it is the power of the Most High. For the wicked, it is a constant reminder of their destruction. That is why they want to turn it off. The beast system deceived many to believe salvation is for all people. There is no salvation for the wicked. The truth of the Most High's words is revealing prophecy, as well as restoring everything the kingdom of darkness flipped upside down. The people are hearing the truth via the word of the Most High in the right context for the first time. Not all is going to understand, because for some it was not given to know the mysteries. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. The word of the Most High is doing exactly what the scripture said, disclose the intent of the heart. The awakening is exposing the intent of the wicked as well as the indigenous people. That is why for some it is difficult to accept the truth being spread in the awakening. When it comes to the affairs of the Most High, you can't pick and choose what to believe. It's either you are for the Most High or against Him. It's either you will serve Him with a pure heart or you will not. There is no truth in the beast system. It is time for the people of the Most High to reject the beast culture and religion. The only way to stay on the narrow road that leads to life is by living according to the words of the Most High. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Israelites, the word of the Most High heals, bring joy, discipline, and train. Do not accept the beast system distorted view of the Most High's words. When hearing the truth by the word of the Most High, do not dismiss what you heard because it does not make you feel good. Conviction bring repentance. The awakening is about repentance and truth. When the people of the Most High repent, it opens the door for deliverance. Do not let the kingdom of darkness steal the freedom so many of you seek by finding the truth in the awakening. Let the workers of iniquity fight among themselves and let their evil backfire unto them. To the people of the Most High, continue to repent and honor the Most High by serving Him in the spirit and in truth. The truth is what set you free. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil.